Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday. And what do we do every Wednesday? We do, what is it? What is it? We're getting down to it. Budget meals under $5. Oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful, wonderful challenge. And please think about joining in. But of course, here is our wonderful, wonderful hostess. And she is awesome and has loves to inspire our imagination how to get those budget meals put together under $5. So please go check her out and please go check out all the awesome creators that joined in today and all the creativity they want to share with you. There's lots of ways to put budget meals together under $5. Hard to believe that people can do it. But with a little bit of thinking out of the box, it's very possible with no trouble. But please check out our hostess channel and see all the creative things she talks about all the time and all the things she shares with you. A great channel. And oh, I love joining in for budget meals under $5. Now let's go see what grandma did this week. I try to do a budget meal under $5 every week. Now this week we're going to be doing some lunches because I've had trouble with my tablet acting up and I haven't been able to film. So it's not quite the way I like to do it, but it's still fine. And I'm going to share with you a lot of little things and little tricks that can make a wonderful meal and still not be spending a lot of money. You know, these aren't even hard to do. It's a lot cheaper to make a sandwich than it is to go out to a fast food place. I mean, you're going to have to drive up there, you're going to have to get in line, and then you're going to have to wait for your food. And I know it's going to be hard to believe this for some of you. It's quicker just to make it at home. And as long as you have been to the grocery store and bought things that can be used for different things to make a variety of different sandwiches, like I'm going to share today, it is just going to blow you away. Just boiling up some pasta and just getting some frozen vegetables out of the freezer and warming them up in the microwave and putting a little bit of butter and then putting it all in pasta. Oh my gosh, it makes a great salad, quick, easy, and you got that for at least three, four days. And here I use mushrooms and I did have mushrooms yesterday left over from something else I had, but I'm out of, out of mushrooms. So I think we're just gonna have pasta salad with just pasta and veggies, but that's still okay. But I did put some tuna in it. So we get something a little different each week. So we don't get bored, oh, pasta salad again. No, you can make pasta salad so many different ways that every time you make it, it tastes different. That's a great thing about pasta. Well, let's go see what grandma put together today. And like I said, it's all gonna be lunches. I had nothing but trouble with my tablet, so I didn't make it quite the way I usually make it. But we still got a video up. Today, we're going to be starting with King Hawaiian Original Hawaiian Sweet Rolls. They're about $5. I think they're $4.99 for a dozen of these. And that may sound like it's a little bit on the pricey side. But this is the best thing about budget meals. You can get one thing that's sort of pricey and start putting everything together around it and make it in budget. Because we're going to be putting together, there's 12 sandwiches. That means I can make six sandwiches and that gives me and my husband three meals a piece so it isn't as expensive as it sounds we cut those rolls in half and then we're going to put what we want on it now i'm going to be making ham sandwiches with these so i'm going to put mayonnaise and mustard on it now i did buy some uh some ham from the deli that was um black forest and that's a little on the pricey side too but because i bought just enough for a couple sandwiches it was only like about a dollar and they were sort of cut thin plus the slices are bigger than the bread so i cut them in half that's how we got it in budget and it can be done and really it wasn't that expensive and i had really good quality ham and good quality sweet rolls and i had some potato chips threw a few potato chips on there even though potato chips are very expensive they aren't expensive if you can do it the way I did it. Just put a few. And instead of having a dinner plate, I use a salad plate. For those that are trying to diet or watch how much they're eating, this makes you look like you have a full plate with two small uh, ham sandwiches and a little bit of potato chips. The plate is full, but it's a salad plate. 
And that's another thing it does. It tricks the eye and you try to eat a little slower, maybe be doing something, maybe answering comments or something while you're eating a meal and take and, sh and chew that food up a little slower and maybe drink a half a glass of water before starting to eat and you'll be full for half the day. That way you're eating healthy, you have a lot of variety and you're in budget and you're in budget with your diet. Well, I hope you give this a try. It tasted pretty good, but we're not done yet. We're gonna share with you a few more quick, easy sandwiches you can make within five minutes or less. And I did eat a little bit of it to share with you how yummy it was, yum, yum, for my tummy. So, if you want quick and easy meals, keep coming over here. I don't think you can eat any quicker and eat any better food than what I'm gonna share with you today. And these are just a couple dollars per meal. And that is not much at all. Like I said, each individual thing maybe would have cost you quite a bit. But when you break it down into how many meals you get out of this, and that's how I grocery shop. How many different meals can I make? That's important I can do. I can make pasta up. And sure, if I just add up the pasta, it can be a little expensive. But it's four, maybe three to four meals. When you break it down like that, it's cheap. It's like a dollar. And you're eating very filling food. So, don't forget. Don't think, oh, that bag of potato chips is $2. Think how many meals can you get. But you need to make sure that you try to start eating with salad plates instead of dinner plates. And don't put a half a bag of chips. Just put a little handful where it looks like it's full. And you feel like you're satisfied. Because that's another thing. We need to have food that makes us feel satisfied and happy with what we eat. You cannot be making massive foods if you're trying to watch your weight. And all of us have to start watching how we live and try to get our meals down into a budget where we're only spending a dollar or two dollars a meal. And you can do it. Sandwiches are a great way. Bread isn't that expensive, even though I bought expensive uh, sweet rolls. Now, I could have put this on a piece of regular bread, but this just gave a little bit more satisfaction and it made, it made it something special, not just a sandwich. Give it a try. Now, here's another way I save a lot of money. I use leftovers to make different meals out of. And this is what this one's going to be. We have our two sweet rolls. We're going to cut them in half and warm them up in the microwave for about 20 seconds. I ate this um, yam for two days. It was so filling, I couldn't do it. And it was mixed with brown sugar and spam so there was leftover spam and brown sugar at the bottom of that bowl i rolled both those rolls in that brown sugar and butter and that's the only thing i put on that bread along with the spam oh my gosh this was the most fabulous sandwich i ever made and this is something i'm going to be doing more of in the future because the yams were wonderful and those sandwiches were wonderful and I truthfully got two meals out of the yam and the leftover spam, I got this meal. It was out of this world. It was one of my most favorite things that I came up with. Give it a try. Brown sugar and butter, all it was. And it was fabulous. Now, the only trick to this to make it even taste more fabulous, sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. This pasta salad I made yesterday and we've already had two servings out of it and I'm going to be able to at least get another one or two more days out of this bowl of pasta. So it's very inexpensive. Just some pasta, mayonnaise, and some uh, tomatoes, and just giving some little bit of flavor. Yesterday, I had mushrooms and veggies in that one. But, you know, I had some leftover veggies, and I had some leftover mushrooms. Today, I didn't. I also like to put Italian seasoning sprinkled on top, garlic, salt, and lemon pepper, and I usually do it right before I'm gonna eat it. That way the flavor's right on top. I don't cook it into my food like a lot of people do. And I don't even mix it into the whole container either. I sprinkle it in as I'm gonna be using it at the moment because I want that flavor right on top. But you do not have to do it, that's just how I do it. And the best part of all, you can have it for a side, and I'm going to make an avocado uh, sandwich. How hard is an avocado sandwich? You open an avocado. Avocado was a dollar. I used um, 
a half of an avocado on these two little sandwiches still. I have another half, so easily one avocado could do all four little sandwiches with no trouble. So that was a dollar, the two little sweet rolls. That's how we're getting these recipes done so cheap. And that pasta could have not been more than 50 cents or 75 cents, even including the tomatoes, because there's not that much in there. But I get tomatoes that are small, have a lot of different colors, to make my salad look a little bit more appetizing. That's another trip and making sure you always use a salad plate to make that plate look full. And drink a glass of water and it will keep you full for hours. So I hope you enjoyed all these budget meals. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. I always love a good pasta salad. You can make them so many different ways every week. I put different ingredients in it and it always tastes different and fresh. This also had tuna in it, I forgot to mention. So you could just have that by itself if you wanted. And maybe put some lettuce with it. So these are my budget meals for this week. Let me know what you thought. And we love having you over here. And glad you enjoy what I put together. Three budget lunches. And nothing was more than a couple dollars a day. This is what you can do and eat very reasonable. This is how I can get my grocery bill about 100 to 130 a week and still eat really, really good. So you can do it, guys. Just think about it. Get out of the box. And thanks for coming by this week.